Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. This is Dash Rendar. In today's video, we are going back further into history than most of the other videos. It probably goes in line with the sling. This right here is an atlab. So this was shown in records to the early Paleolithic period. There's even some fossil records showing a mammoth with an atlatl spear in their leg. So what is an atlatl? Well, basically what it is, it is going to be a stick that extends the range of motion of the arm to throw a large arrow or spear further. So these spears are about six feet. And the general premise for how this is gonna work is you're gonna hold it here this way. When the arm comes back, what's gonna happen is it's going to release and at a point up here, you're gonna open up your fingers to increase the range of an arrow being thrown. So what that's gonna look like is something just like this. It's gonna be in and then you just release it. And that already is basically further than I could throw on my own, just with that little flick. So how do they look in action? Well, as a novice, it's not gonna be my strongest thing just yet. As with all things, I'm gonna spend a lot of time with it, practice with it more, and then hopefully I'll get some better readings, do some speed tests, some distance tests for it. But just in as far as the action of the motion, it's gonna look something like this. idea of how this will improve basically even a novice like myself I'm gonna do just a standard spear throw um, with this it's gonna be a little funky it's a little light but I'm just gonna try and see what I can do here all right so that was about 27 paces now I'm gonna try it with the atlatl All right, so that was 44 paces, but I want to try it again. Out of that was 53 paces, and they were all grouped pretty close together, so that was a much better showing. Again, this is my first day really using this thing. So it just kind of goes to show how it can increase the capacity of just a layman almost instantly. All right, so next up, I'm gonna try some accuracy. I'm about 15 yards away and I just wanna do a grouping of like three and, and see how I do. I mean, not bad from like 15 yards for me. You can kind of see where they all ended up. I got this one right here. My first one was the best, as usually is the case, because I'm the most relaxed when I do that one. But um, definitely, oh, <laughs> definitely something that is a really cool tool to use. And again, this is just one of those things where it's just one of those appreciations of history, just something that's been around for literally, you know, of the record state, 15,000 years and trying to master something that people still master that are used this day and was a staple through basically all of human history. Now, one of the cool things you might be able to see about these is on the slow-mo, when I'm throwing it, how much flex they have. And so in the beginning, when you first offshoot it, it's gonna have a ton of bend in it. And over time, it's gonna straighten out a little bit more. So from this distance, I feel like I'm not really doing a great maximization of it because what's happening is it's having that huge, it's still bending as it's moving, doesn't have time to kind of get rid of that and straighten out as it's moving. So it's just crazy watching it back on the slow-mo, just how much bend it has. I mean, arrows obviously have a little bit of a snake-like motion, but these are just up and down, makes me think of Revenge of the Nerds. So one thing that's really cool about these is they can actually be done from a seated, crouched, or hidden position. Not necessarily from a treetop, but you're gonna have the ability, because it's lengthening that arm, where you don't need the whole body movement to get it to go well. And that went really far. So just for a better angle in here, I'm in a seated position on one knee. And I mean, that was pretty easy to do, honestly. Let's see. Let's see if I can get one more good one in here. Hold on. Yes. Here's one of the legit craziest things to think about. And one of the things that I think drives me to master all of this is, could you imagine, like, if you're a hunter in that time frame, 
and you're trying to get something that's large prey and you're in the bushes and you have like this floppy arrow and this piece of wood to extend that throw like that's such a different level of survival that I think is just lost on a lot of what happens today um, and I think trying to find a way to master that is a way to try to connect with early ancestors and early man which is kind of what the passion is driven from whether that be the sling or the bow or anything like that that ability to say hey i'm gonna try and survive out here and take down something much larger than myself with simply a stick i got the mammoth he's just he's just mad now <laughs> <laughs> so my goal is to try to give you a sense of speed for how quickly these things are coming. I don't have my chrono out here, but I just want to kind of give a perception of they're moving pretty quick. So I think the best way to see that is from the front camera. I hope that gives you a little bit of an idea of how quick they're moving. Now, again, I'm pretty close, but um, if you're a master at this, you can generate that speed from a lot of distances and that's going to that's gonna be scary. So I have been having a ton of fun with this thing. Um, you're probably wondering why I have a shirt. It's actually not that cold, but I'll tell you why. Yesterday was Christmas and I feel bloated and body dysmorphia is a real thing. Um, so that's kind of a morbid thing to say, but dang, I feel super bloated today. And you know, let that just be something that's the truth, you guys out there. It's, you're not gonna look 100% all the time. This is kind of a tangent, but that's the reality of it. Like. You're never gonna have that perfect physique 24 seven. And so hope you enjoy it regardless. Honestly, so this thing is a ton of fun. It's low impact, but I've been doing spear throwing lately. It's really been hurting my inner elbow there, but this is no pressure, no pain. I can do it better, more accurately. And it's just a great testament to the innovation of early man and kind of where we've come from and the history behind all these inventions that we have. Um, I'm gonna be using this for an upcoming um, series, Ancient Warriors of History. So I'm really excited to have that in hand um, to kind of represent a lot of those different cultures that get looked over in history. So I hope you enjoyed it. As always, comment, like, subscribe. If you like the content, let me know what you think. Also, let me know about my form. There's probably some masters out there. I've tried to research and practice it, but I'm still very much a novice. So I'd love to hear your thoughts.